So this is the one of the exciting things about living here again. I've just taken the kids to school. Last night we had the leopard. Uh, we watched it while we were having dinner, eating an impala that had been killed right at the house. Um, and now I dropped the kids off. They unfortunately missed it, but coming back in, we've got a whole pride of lions now on the road over here. You can see there's some cars up ahead and lions on the road. And while I've been coming up to this here, lions just called me to say that uh, wild dogs by the house area They've just killed an impala on our neighbor's fence, which goes around the house. Um, and then the hyena came and stole the uh, kill from the wild dogs, but the dogs are there. So she wants me to come and, and, and see the dogs are there, but now I've got lion traffic jam. So different type of uh, stress, if you want to call it that. Yeah. And they're going to chase this hyena. So even though individually the hyena is bigger than the average dog, the dog's superior sort of coordinated activity you can chase off the hyena. You can see the bellies are quite full. I've been eating quite a lot, getting nice and excited with the tails up. What had happened is the dogs this morning actually killed this impala at our neighbor's house. You see this dog's got a collar on it, so a lot of the animals are being researched and monitored by conservation officials and uh, they can then track their movements. But our neighbor's house is right over here and actually the, most people have got a little fence around the house just to provide a bit of protection. Predators coming into the yard and so on and, and the dogs often will develop the habit of chasing uh, animals onto fences. Some dogs get to know it quite well and specialize in it and um, often you'll find that near homes there's more watering holes and things which which uh, attract game so the dogs then come to all around the houses and lodges and will then chase the animals which is often try and run towards homes and lodges and then get stuck in the fence and it's an easy kill. So what happened is that this this was killed in that way this morning and then the hyena was close by, came and tried to steal it and it's been a bit of a tussle and it's been pulled this far from the house now. Typically hyenas would drag it this far, it wouldn't be the dogs themselves. But they seem to have taken the kill back again. Why would there be a dog in the back there? There's a dog up there. Yeah, another one lying in the bush at the back. I don't know, maybe it's had a good full already. Yeah, Dogs try and eat as quickly as possible. You see, they don't make a lot of noise. They don't want to attract unwanted attention in the form of lions, um, big groups of hyenas, or maybe even odd brazen leopard. Leopard typically wouldn't try and steal from dogs. They often get chased away. You can see these hyenas now giving us a good, good look. I'll come around, see what happens. It's going to be quite wary. The dogs will try and nip at it as it runs off. wants to come and thinks better of it. But I really feel like I'm about to my rear end today. clumps of jaw and a leg and it's over. Dogs are not stalkers and pouncers, they rely on stamina, run their prey down, so dog with a gammy leg is in trouble.
Oh, wait, why is that one baring the teeth, sitting down, sign of submission. So the dogs immediately just go back and carry on feeding, not too worried. They just don't want to make a lot of noise, as I said. So you know, if the hyenas start you know, growling and making a lot of noise, they can also attract unwanted attention. So they want to eat as quickly as they can. What are you doing here? Mm. See the dogs have got fairly fast metabolism so they have made this kill, try and eat as much as they can, get their full and then try and move away from the kill. They're not, they're not like the big cats that will sort of try and finish it off, spend a few days and you know, eat their full luck bit like cheetah and then move on being down the predator hierarchy they don't want to be around a carcass that's going to attract a lot of vultures and unwanted attention in the form of competition so they'd rather just eat and leave so very efficient predators first of all in terms of their success rate much higher than the others and uh, and once the kill is is made then they finish it off very quickly He's going to grab that kill and he's going to run like hell with it. Oh, you see biting on the rear end? They surround it and that way they can intimidate it into hopefully moving away. A bit like mongooses on a snake. This is where your superior coordinated teamwork comes in. Hyenas do that to an extent with lions. Lions are just a sandwich short of a picnic, they can't do it if they tried. So when lions are confronted by enemies or try and drive another predator off a kill or whatever, they just each one for themselves. It's not this type of coordinated activity. It just goes to show what happens here every single day with the, the leopard uh, taking the impala at our house last night and then this one at our neighbour this morning. So that's just two impala in the space of a few hundred yards. Um, you wonder how many other animals are becoming part of the food chain here every single day. They don't drop their sister, but they're coming in a good chance. They won't. It's fine, Trevor. Driving Oh, my God. 
Oh, put him on the lid. Yeah. You see, every time he, he grabs it, they're going to distract him. So he's not going to be able to pick up and run because he's going to keep getting bitten. And you know what it's like when you, you scream, you open your mouth and you drop what you're carrying. And that's where the dogs are, have got the edge. Uh, obviously outnumbered. But... Uh, they, It's just the tenacity of the dogs. Yeah, oh, look, if they've had their kill, they've had enough. And they, they just want to have a bit of fun. And they'll often also harass animals like buffalo and zebras and run around and nip at the heels and then have the animal chase them and turn. And it's typical dog behavior. Got it by the leg and pulling it along. <laughs> <laughs> 